I mean, you talk about the bill that Donald Trump uh, quashed, in, that was in 2024. Just in June, three weeks before the, last, the first presidential debate with Joe Biden, uh, you institute executive actions that had a dramatic impact, really shut down people crossing over. Why didn't your administration do that in 2022, 2023? First of all, you're exactly right, Anderson. And as of today, we have cut the flow of immigration by over half. In fact, the numbers I saw most recently, mm -hmm. illegal immigration. But if is it was that easy on, with that finish. executive me, action, why not do it in 2022, well, 2023? Because we were working with Congress and hoping that actually we could have a long-term fix to the problem instead of a short-term fix. You couldn't have done one and the, both at the same time? Well, here's the thing. I, we have to understand that ultimately this problem is going to be fixed through congressional action. Well, let's talk about this compromise bill you, that you want to pass if you're elected. You said that's going to be a priority. It includes $650 million in funding for the border wall. That's something Republicans wanted. That was part of the compromise. Under Donald Trump, you criticized the wall more than 50 times. You called it stupid, useless, and a medieval vanity project. Is a border wall stupid? Well, let's talk about Donald Trump and that border wall. <laughs> So remember, Donald Trump said Mexico would pay for it? Come on, they didn't. How much of that wall did he build? I think the last number I saw was about 2%. And then when it came for time for him to do a photo op, you know where he did it? In the part of the wall that President Obama built. But you're agreeing so, to a on. bill that would earmark $650 million <laughs> to continue building that we, wall. I, I pledge that I am going to bring forward that bipartisan bill to further strengthen and secure our border. Why is there any ideological perspective on this? Let's just fix the problem. It, it, to fix the problem, you're, you're doing this compromise bill. It does call for $650 million that was earmarked under Trump to actually still go to build the wall. I am not afraid of good ideas where they occur. You know, so you don't think it's stupid anymore? I think what he did and how he did it did, was, did not make much sense because he actually didn't do much of anything.